Hey, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you to the Oceanside Pier. So standing almost 2,000 feet long, the pier is one of the most iconic places in all of Oceanside. Loved by visitors and locals alike, the Oceanside Pier is the perfect location to take a stroll, go fishing, watch surfers, or grab a bite to eat at Ruby's at the end of the pier. Since its original construction in 1888, the pier continues to serve as the backdrop for signature Oceanside events including concerts and performances at the Outdoor Amphitheater, surf competitions, the Ironman Triathlon, and more. From morning until evening, the pier is also a great spot to enjoy our coastline's natural beauty while taking in views of wildlife, the Pacific Ocean, and of course those breathtaking Oceanside sunsets. Whatever may bring you to Oceanside, the pier is without a doubt the perfect spot to go for the next Oceanside memory. So next up, I'm gonna show you what the pier looks like in the morning with all the fishermen. Let's go take a look. Give you a little bit of a fight? Okay, so one of the main reasons why I love the Oceanside Pier is for surfing. I truly think that the Oceanside Pier is one of the best surf spots in all of San Diego County. And the reason I say that is because the waves are so consistent. Every day, it seems like there's waves to be had. Other spots don't necessarily have that. Let's go ahead and check out some surfing. Here are my top recommendations when you make it to the pier next. First off, for lunch, stop at the Tin Fish and try the Mahi Mahi Taco and the Chris Cut Fries. Check this out. Took me about five minutes and I had the whole thing wolfed down and I left nothing on the plate. Next up, stop at the Bistro, grab a cup of coffee. It's a little expensive, but it's good coffee. There's an ice cream shop. And if you want to learn how to surf, Surf and Fire will teach you for an hour for $40. Next up, if you are interested in getting a cart for your family or renting a bike, the carts go for around $30 and the bikes are about $13. If you want to spend a little more money on food, try 333 Pacific. And there's also a pizza place called Zigzag Pizza right above the pier. Hey, last but not least, one thing you need to do when you come down to the pier is cruise the Strand. Yeah, okay, I got a car coming at me right now, but the Strand, um, you can either cruise it in your car or walk it. I usually take my dog down here every day. I grab my uh, iced coffee and then come and cruise the Strand because there's so many interesting people down here. Um, you just got your regular people, you got your tourists, you got your homeless people, you got your crackheads. I mean, this place is so diverse. So when you come down here, definitely have to cruise the sand. Cody. The minis! Oh, wow! Look at that! 
Cody. So I just scored some cool footage of the skateboarder trying to ollie an eight stair that goes under the tunnel to the pier right here. And uh, he gets he gets worked a couple times, but uh, finally pulled it off. But I actually didn't catch him pulling it off, unfortunately. And my last recommendation is if you have the time to stick around all day, make sure you stay for the beautiful sunset. Thanks a lot for coming with me today. I had a great time showing you the Oceanside Pier. And if you liked it, please subscribe. And there's a plenty more videos to come. I'll see you on the next one.